AAC apps from Assistiveware. Hi everyone, my name's Amanda Hartman and I'm a senior speech pathologist with Assistiveware. And in case you didn't know, Assistiveware has been a leading pioneer in the field of assistive technology for over 20 years, in particular for augmentative and alternative communication or AAC. Our technologies focus on products for iOS and macOS. Now this presentation will share some of our products with you, but also I really wanted to share something about our mission and where we find our passion. Because at Assistiveware, we believe that everyone has something to say and we want to help build a world without communication barriers. Supporting people who use AAC to communicate, that's kind of become our thing. And we do AAC in collaboration with our community to make sure our apps best serve their needs. Our users play a crucial role in who we are. And we don't only create products, but we also focus on supporting our community to use those apps. And we provide many learning materials and resources actually to support anyone who wants to learn more about AAC. So let's take a look at our AAC apps. We have Proloquo to Go, Proloquo for Text and Simpod. Later, we will also look at some companion apps, Keeble and Pictello. Let's first look at Proloquo to Go, which has been around for a long time. You may have heard or seen it. It's our symbol based AAC tool and it's available on iOS and macOS. It has words represented by symbols for people who have not yet learnt to read or spell and or for those that need the visual supports that a picture or a symbol might provide. It is designed to support motor planning and it's available in English but also Spanish, French and Dutch. The vocabulary in Proloquo to Go is based on core words with quick access to fringe words and personal vocabulary as well as access to the alphabet. Now when AAC like Proloquo to Go has these things, it allows a person to communicate for many reasons. We often call these reasons communication functions. But let's talk about core words just a little bit more because you will see a lot of core words in the app. Core words can be considered to be the building blocks of language, all those words that we say and use often that add meaning. Actually, the colored words that you see on this board are examples of some core words. Actually, by the way, um, this picture here is one of our core word boards. You can download these from our website so you can print them off to have paper-based versions of the vocabulary, like for a poster or a board. Very handy indeed. So core words add meaning, right? So if I say car, so what? Why did I say car? What did I mean when I said car? It's core words that's going to add that meaning. For example, I can ask a question like, where is the car? I can tell a story, I go or I went in the car. I can talk about likes and dislikes. You like cars. Stop, the car had a crash. I want more cars. So it's by adding those core words that we add meaning to what we're saying. Now, let's see this in action. I'm going to take a look now. I'm going to open my iPad and we're going to look at Proloquo together so that you can see some of the other features of the app. You're now looking at the iPad screen of Proloquo to go and uh, this is a 7x11 grid. I can tap buttons. I like this. And they go up to the top message window. I like this. So that the sentences can be read aloud. I have the bottom toolbar which includes my edit pencil to allow me to customize and my options menu that has lots of things I can change like the appearance settings, so I can change button color. There's lots of things that you can do within the app in the background to make changes to how things look and feel. I also want to point out that in my options menu, I have help. This allows me to look at lots of different articles and features for how I might do things, 
including videos and step-by-step -step instructions, so you can get help right within the app. Prologue to Go starts with lots of, with the idea that we have lots of words on the page. We like this because the more words, the better. This gives me a lot that I can say. When you're first starting out, it's a great idea to explore. I've got these words on the home page. Those are those core words that we were just talking about. And every time I navigate into a folder, you'll see that I still have access to a whole lot of core. This can allow me to combine lots of words together to say many, many things. We, we want, want to, to get, get pizza, pizza now. now. I have my fringe vocabulary and I also have access to the alphabet. I have access to a grid alphabetical keyboard, but I also have access to a typing window with a QWERTY keyboard. It's a great idea awesome. to be modeling and showing both alphabet, core words and fringe words as soon as possible when you start using Prolo to Go. But let's customize. I can, with my edit pencil, add the words that are important to me. Do you have balloon? Do you have balloon? I probably do have a balloon. Let's be true. I can add photos onto buttons as well. So when I type it in, I can tap my options to search and look on my camera roll for photos. So we can include photos of people and places and things that are personal to us. Prolequitigo has lots of grammar supports. We. Oui. So if I hold my button, my finger down on buttons, I can get grammar pop-ups. Went. True. This allows me to use full grammatical Jacks. forms of words. Places. Party. Party. And. And. We. we so I'm writing a really long sentence. You might not always write long sentences grammatically new. correct. Sometimes you might only use one or two words and that's okay too. Now what did we see at the party? Oh, that's a good idea. I can show you another feature in the app. If I tap the bottom left corner for the tools pop up, I can use the search feature. The search feature allows me to type and search for words within the vocabulary and then it even guides me the pathway to find that word. Dog. We went to Jack's party and we saw the new dog. If I'm using other languages, I can quickly switch between them. Bien. Good. So easy. So, hmm, I think that's just a really quick overview of Proloquo to Go. So let's go back to the presentation. Finished. Okay, next up is Proloquo for text. Proloquo for text is a text-based AAC tool and it's available on iOS and macOS as well. It even can work on your Apple Watch. Um, it is specifically designed for people who type to communicate. Proloquo for text supports 18 different languages and actually has 130 voice choices. So let's take a quick look at Proloquo for text now. As you can see, I can type to communicate using word prediction Time to communicate and I also have pre-saved phrases that I can use when is the first available appointment to say things that I say often and it has the ability for me to easily be able to add any items or text that I need to say at different times as you can see me adding a phrase now Text is when is the first available appointment? I need another script, please. Text is highlighted as it's read aloud, as well as phrases I can hold conversations so I can answer people's questions PM. without losing other things I've said. Sentence prediction is proloquo for de text predicting previous sentences that I may well have said. I would like something to eat. Everything may Please be it patient faster. while I write my message. I can also go into full screen mode to show you what I wrote or flip it if you're sitting opposite me. There are so many different ways that you can customize and change how your Proloquo for text looks. You can search the options for all sorts of settings 
to do with voice and appearance and other things. Proloquo for Text is an incredibly powerful app that allows for fast and efficient communication if you type to communicate. Now let's talk about Simpod. Simpod is an app developed by Assistive Wear in direct collaboration with Gail Porter, the creator of Pod. It allows for both print and digital capabilities within the single app. If you are unfamiliar with Pod, it has a number of key principles that underline underlie the pod design intervention. Some of these include working towards communication autonomy, meeting a full range of communication requirements, and supporting communication at any time. Pod encourages an integrated AAC system with both a pod book and an electronic version of pod, both of which are available in SimPod. SimPod is only for iOS, and only in English, and it uses symbol stick symbols. Now let's look at this short video for a simple and effective look at the SimPod system. I want to show you something. Okay. It's new. Ah, it's something new. A simple way to use pod is here. You just tap to communicate. You can make your pod books right from the app. Simply choose your book and customize. Print it all at once. You'll save a lot of time and effort. So just tap and print. Go park. Ah, you want to go play together. We've made it really simple <laughs> so you can focus on connecting. Just tap, print, and connect. SimPod, the only English pod with a printing interface within the app. SimPod is a game changer for any of you that might be using pod it's a fantastic app so that is it proloquo to go proloquo for text and simpod our collection of aac apps all designed to support the communication of the user in a way that suits them finally let's take a look at keeble and pictello Keeble is an accessible keyboard that is designed to make typing in almost any iOS app easier and faster, particularly for people with physical and vision impairments, but it also has features to support people with dyslexia. So you can install it and load it to use in the place of the standard Apple keyboard in any app. You install the Keeble app and you can change all the keyboard settings to your, to your liking. I'm going to load the purple keyboard is one of the keyboard apps so I can type as before and you can see that even if I'm using um, my Safari I can still also use access that keyboard keyboard it's as simple as that but what about Pictello Pictello is a versatile tool that allows you to create books, including whatever visuals, pictures, photos, videos, and the text that you want. You can write stories, news, schedules. I really think the options are limitless. Let's check it out. So we've got a whole lot of books. I like to play. This is a... I like to play. A book that I made. I like to play Frozen Castle. Where we publish by Olivia. <laughs> we publish predictable chart I writing. I like to play with students. my dog. By Jesse. Just the combination of photos and text. And it's quite easy to make your own. The. I've used the wizard mode and I've added the title. And then you just basically choose photos from your camera roll. So I've made a cover and title. I add a voice. I can even do a recording. Now let's add another page to our book. We're just flying through this very quickly. <laughs> You just see how we add a picture and follow we the wizard and went. type in the text that T I want it to say. When I spell it right, of course. The beach. And done with the story. Let's check it out. The beach. We went to the beach. So as simple as that, we can make our own books. I always think of thousands of different ideas of things that I can use with Pictello. <laughs> okay, 
As I mentioned at the beginning, our products are only just the start for the assistive wear team. We also work hard to support the apps. You'll find support articles and videos on our website on the support page. You can also email our support team anytime. We also have an incredible AAC community. Our Facebook groups are supportive and often buzzing with conversations, lots of sharing and advice. And we're building our social media communities. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Actually, a few years ago, we published another resource, a collection of ready-made resources on the assistive wear Core Word Classroom. These materials are designed to support anyone who is teaching a Core Word based AAC system. They're free to join and lots of PDFs that you can download to get quick ideas on Core Words to model in different activities. So there's some getting started guides, this is also a place you can download those core word boards that I mentioned before. Um, you've got core word planners, word of the week. Who's doing core word of the week in their, in their schools or places? There's a whole lot where you can print down, print out and see a PDF of how we might teach and use the core word of the week. Like, like, <laughs> for example. So there's lots of materials on the Core Word Classroom. Um, some of our popular ones were the Core Word 5-Minute Fillers. And these are just great one-page resources that you can print and download. And then you've got all the words that you might like to model and use when you're playing with the particular activity. So that is the Core Word Classroom. We'd love you to check it out. Lastly, I want to draw your attention to the Learn AAC section of our website. We really, really designed this as a one-stop place for everything you need to know about AAC. The information lets anyone learn more about AAC, whether they are using or know about assisted wear AAC products or not. Easy to read articles, photos, videos, um, even things that you can download and print. And everything has been translated from English into Spanish, French and Dutch. Let's take a quick look at Learn AAC. So you can get to know AAC. There's lots of useful articles about setting up your AAC and getting started. You can also download some more of those communication boards here. If, for example, we click on the article, like all the reasons we communicate, you can see some images and quotes here. Um, this one actually has the, the ability to download that printable communication functions poster. So there's lots of treasure troves in the Learn AAC section on our website. And again, we would love for you to go and check it out. So that's it. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video today. Please email us if you have any questions or need any more information on anything in this presentation. And please go ahead and check our website. Thanks so much. Bye.